Let's upgrade our enemy from this to this. Here's what I want. This enemy is designed to be an introductory monster, so it needs to be as simple and as harmless as possible. And what could be more harmless than a slime? Using two out of my three remaining brain cells, I present to you the lesser slime. And it's pretty cute. Because it is an introductory monster, the behavior needs to be simple too. There will be three states, idle, chase, and attack. I want my slime enemy to move around in a random direction for a random amount of time and then take a short break before continuing to move again. And if the player got into a certain range, it will start chasing the player. The moment it closes up the distance, the slime enemy will stop and then start attacking the player. It sounds quite complicated for a simple behavior, but we can make it simple with finite state machine. I won't go into the details of how finite state machine works, but I will at least attempt to explain what it does. Let's say that I have three phones, red for gaming, green for work, and blue for contacting my ex, and I can only operate one at a time. I can't play games on one phone and text my ex on the other, right? It's pretty much the same with finite state machine. Each state serves a specific purpose and can only be accessed one at a time when a specific condition is met. For the detailed version of my explanation, go watch Finite State Machine in Godot 4 in under 10 minutes by Bilir. Okay, starting off with the idle state. Pammy, what the hell is this? You may ask. Chill X. Let me explain. So right here, we got a function named randomize wonder. What it does is to randomize wonder direction between minus one or one in the x-axis. Minus one is left and one is right. We also do the same for wonder time, except it is a number between one and two. Then we immediately call the function after the game started. Right below it, we got a function named update, which will run every frame and one the time will decrease by one every second until it's below zero. And when that happens, we call randomize wonder, reassigning the variable with the random direction and time. If we just scroll down a bit, there is an enemy wonder function. It checks if the enemy is on the floor, and if it is, the enemy will move according to wonder direction with a designated speed. And let's see. It works. Now the enemy will move left to right for a random amount of time. Poor little enemy. Must be so tired from moving around all the time. Let's give it some rest time. The same as wonder time, we give stop time a random value between 5 to 8. Also the same as wonder time again, stop time will decrease by 1 every second. When it's below 0, stop time will be assigned with a random value between 5 to 8 again. In the enemy wonder function, instead of immediately making the slime enemy move, we tell it to move when the stop time is more than 3 and stop moving when the stop time is less than 3, giving our slime 3 seconds of rest time. Now, we need the slime enemy to be able to detect and chase us. For the detection method, I have this thing called Area 2D, with a long ass collision box as a radar of some kind. What's so special about this Area 2D is that it can emit signals to our script. So, when a body enters the Area 2D, or in this case our player, it will immediately call the body enter function and run the code inside of it. We can apply this to our enemy idle state and transition to the chase state when the player enters the Area 2D. Here we got the chase script open up, and one thing you might notice 
is that the codes are much shorter than our idle states. Making an enemy's chase towards you is actually much simpler than you think. Let me explain. First, we get the player node that we've stored in a group named player. Assuming that you've done that before I even tell you to, in the physics of the function, or usually called physics process, we check if the player position is more than the enemy position, which means that the player is on the right side of the enemy. Set the direction to 1, and if it's less, direction equal minus 1. After that, just make the enemy move towards the direction that we've set. Let's improve it. I want the slime enemy to stop when it got to a certain range, and in order to do that, we have to get the player distance by subtracting the player position with the enemy position, and make a new condition where if the player distance is more than a certain number, enemy is allowed to chase, and if it's not, stay still. Same as before, we need the slime enemy to know when to transition into the attack state. We will also use area 2D for this. Connect the signal and transition to the attack state when the player enters the area. Inside the attack state script, we have an enemy attack function. The slime enemy can only attack when it's allowed to and is on the ground. If it met those conditions, a timer starts. And during this time, the slime enemy can't attack again. Only when the timer reaches zero, attack is allowed again. It also enables the attack collision based on where the animated sprite is facing. While all of those is happening, it sets the enemy attacking boolean to true, allowing the attacking animation to play. And all of this happens in a single frame by the way. Also, don't forget to make the slime enemy transition back to the chasing state when the player leaves the attacking area. And when we combine it all together, it will look like this. You might notice that sometimes this can happen. What happened is, before the slime enemy can stop moving, the attack state is called, making it goes in and out of chase and attack state simultaneously. And I know that because when I removed the transition to attack state, the slime enemy just kept moving towards the oblivion. To fix that, just make the attack detection area slightly smaller than the minimum distance for the slime enemy to stop. For me, it will stop when the player distance is less than 25, so I just need to make the attack detection area slightly smaller than that. And it works! If it still doesn't work, try checking your collision layer and mask. That's pretty much it. Our slime enemy can now walk around, chase us, and smack the shit out of us. Cool. Oh yeah. If you wanted to keep up with the game progress, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter for regular updates. You can also join my Discord server to talk and have a chat with the community. And if you'd like to support the development of the game, you can do so through my Ko-fi page in the description below. Every bit of support means a lot to me and helps make this game happen. Have a good day and thank you for watching.